All right, this one's going to be on some boring shit about foregrounding a process, backgrounding a process, and suspending your process, um, and killing and all that. So how do you do this here? Bus out terminal, and we have a bunch of files in here. Um, this one is a bad example, but if you want to suspend something, uh, depending on what application it is. So I know with mplayer, it will suspend it. So let's say mplayer, and we'll play this mp3 file here. And to suspend it, just put the and percent sign at the end. Uh, usually, like I said, it depends on what process it is. Usually some other programs will actually run in the background. But in this case, with employer, it will actually suspend it here. So you see it says suspended, and it gives a number next to it, right? Uh, that's the ID number. Um, let's do this another one. Let's say nano, another bad example here. But we'll call this one uh, YouTube. Dot txt and we'll suspend this one also with the and percent sign uh, so another suspended one now that's one way to do it from the command line um, you know with the and percent sign if you want to do this on a running process so let's say you do w get and we're going to download this mp3 all you gotta do to suspend this is hit control z and you hit control z it will actually say suspended here so now we have a bunch of jobs. So you just type out jobs here. And all the things that we just did was uh, we suspended mplayer, uh, nano, and wget command, right? So those ones are not doing anything right now. They're just suspended. They're just waiting for you to uh, use it later on. So how do you recall them? Uh, that's where the fg command comes in. So fg means to foreground. So if I want to send, um, if I want to bring nano to the foreground now, I'll do FG and what's that percent sign uh, two since this one is two here, right? And that's it. You're back to uh, using nano here, but we're not gonna do shit in here. Uh, and now it says continue, and then we exit out, so we don't have to do it anymore. Um, if we list out the jobs again, we we'll do jobs. Now we only have one and three here, right? So those ones are end player and W get. If you want to kill uh, a process instead of like uh, foregrounding it again, you can just type in kill and percent. And let's say I want to kill this w uh, get command, and I kill that thing and it says terminated, right? And I'll be list out jobs again. We only have one left. And if you want to bring this one uh, back up again, you can use you know the fg command that I showed you earlier. Um, one, and now it starts playing. We can quit out of that pretty much it so you have no jobs in here uh, other things you want to do is let's say you have a GUI application let me give you an example we'll bust out mousepad here this is a GUI application and you see you can use it here and fine but if you turn off if, if you close off this terminal it'll close it right so uh, let's do that again here what you want to do is uh, was that run the program from the command line? Uh, I can use it here fine, but as soon as you suspend this, Control Z to suspend this, right? Um, you can list out the jobs here if you want, but right now it's suspended one here uh, for mouse pad. And once you suspend it, you can't use this program anymore, right? Look at this program, this GUI. You can't type shapes in here anymore. So after you suspend it, uh, you want to use BG for background. So you want to send this to the background. Um, and depending if you have more than multiple jobs, you have to, you know, tell it what uh, number it is. Uh, if you only have one, you just type in BG, but if you have multiples, you want to put in percent and the number that you want to use. So in this case, this one is, uh, you know, one here. So that's what we use here. So now it says continued in, uh, mouse pad. So now we can actually use it, uh, like normal. Now the thing is, even if you close out this terminal right now, it will actually close out the whole program, right? And that's not what we want. So this is where uh, disown comes into play. Um, so we'll do that again, I think for the last time now here. So we we'll do that. Uh, now we're gonna go back here, hit Control Z to suspended, and then we do BG for backgrounding. We'll just put in the what was that the, the process number. And you want to do disown. Now disown, like I said, if you have multiple, um, 
you know suspended jobs you want to put the percent sign and you know the number uh, and then that one will disown it so now if we disown it we can actually use this thing and close this terminal without issues so that's pretty much how that works um, anything else and that's pretty much it you know you're killing a process disowning foregrounding process background process control Z to suspend it and, and uh, the ampersand sign to suspend it also anywho that's uh, everything that you probably want to know or not know but that's it for this one